Hi friends, today Kevin is sharing his recipe for macaroni fricasse, which is actually a very popular um, dish in many Mauritian households. So basically this Mauritian style macaroni dish is the one which is sautéed with the onions, garlic, um, fresh herbs, tomatoes and eggs scrambled into the whole mix. To recreate a vegan version of this dish, Kevin is substituting the eggs with um, bean curd skins and this actually results in something really tasty. So you can find dried bean curd skins at um, the Asian markets or in Asian stores but if you cannot find them, you can substitute them with firm tofu in this recipe. So we hope you'll enjoy this recipe. You'll see it's very simple, but it's amazingly tasty. If you're unfamiliar with bean curd skin, it is also known as yuba, tofu skin, bean curd sheets or fuzu. It is a skin or film that forms on soy milk as it is boiled in a shallow open pan. This skin is collected and dried into sheets or sticks. Although not considered to be tofu, it does have a similar taste. Texture-wise, I personally find it to be rather different to tofu. It is a little firmer and chewier. The dried bean curd skins need to be rehydrated properly before using them in any recipes. For this, break the bean curd skin sticks or sheets into rather large pieces that will fit into a large mixing bowl. Then immerse them in hot water and leave to soak for at least 2 hours or overnight. Kevin's using gluten-free brown rice macaroni, but any macaroni of choice will do. Bring a large pot of water to a boil, then add in the macaroni. Boil to al dente according to packet instructions. While the pasta is boiling, let's prepare the other ingredients. We strongly suggest using fresh herbs like thyme and parsley, as they add an invigorating and refreshing aroma to the dish. We recommend using red onion, but a white one will do too. Finally slice the onion into half moons. Hot green chilies will add a subtle kick to the dish, but you can use a mild one if you prefer, or a pinch of chili flakes. Finally, cut the rehydrated bean curd skins into pieces of about 5 cm or 2 inches in length. By now, the pasta should be ready. Take care not to let it overcook. So once cooked, drain the pasta and rinse with cold water to stop the cooking process immediately and remove the excess starch. We are going to saute the pasta stir-fry style in this recipe, so the residual starch won't be ideal and may render them rather sticky. Once rinsed, add a drizzle of olive oil and toss to mix it in. This will prevent the pasta from sticking until we are ready to use them. Now we are ready to start sautéing. In a cast iron pan or wok, on medium-high heat, add 1 teaspoon of coconut oil. Add in the whole grape tomatoes. These are not typical, but Kevin's adding them for a little twist on the traditional dish. They will provide some added juicy texture and lush sweet flavor to contrast with the mild sourness of the Roma tomatoes. Add a pinch of salt, saute for a few minutes until tomatoes start to lightly char. Then remove from the pan and set aside. Next, saute the bean curd skins. So add in a little more oil if required, add a little soy sauce, some black ground pepper and salt to taste. Stir fry for about 4-5 to five minutes. 
then remove from the pan and set aside. We like using the cast iron pan to saute some of the ingredients for the roasted flavor that it gives to the food, but you could saute everything in a wok too. So now in a wok, add one tablespoon of coconut oil, then add in the garlic. Cook for about 20 seconds, then add in the onions. Toss and stir fry for a few minutes until onions start to soften. Next, add in the Roma tomatoes, followed by the green chilies and a little black pepper. Add a little salt and the thyme leaves. Stir fry for about 5 minutes until tomatoes have softened. Add in the macaroni, stir and mix well. Stir fry for a couple of minutes, then add in the bean curd skins, followed by the grape tomatoes and chopped parsley. Adjust salt and pepper to taste if necessary, stir fry for a couple more minutes, then turn off the heat. The macaroni fricassee is ready to serve. You can find a printable version of this recipe on our website, check the description below the video for the link. If you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. By the way, do you have any favorite way of eating bean curd skins? Let us know in the comments. See you soon! Thank you.